Hello students, my name is Ume. In today's class, we will learn about a chapter called Louis Pasteur, Conqueror of Disease, a lesson from the English textbook of class 10. Louis Pasteur, Conqueror of Disease. This lesson is an extract from the biography of Louis Pasteur, which is written by E.H. Carter. And the name of the biography is Pioneer of the Modern world pioneers of the modern world so uh, louis pasteur conqueror of disease when you see this title uh, there's this word conqueror what is the meaning of conqueror it means fighter so conqueror of disease does not mean that louis pasteur was a victim of any disease but it means that he found a cure for diseases okay uh, so, let's discuss this uh, pre-reading activity. Who, in your opinion, is the greatest scientist? So, we all know that there are many great scientists like Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, um, Einstein, and this, there are many scientists like that. So, who, in your opinion, is great? So, we know that Isaac Newton is known for the uh, concept of gravity, laws of motion, and then Einstein for theory of relativity and photoelectric effect. Uh, likewise, even Louis Pasteur has some contribution towards science so so think uh, uh, about uh, who in your opinion is the greatest scientist so now we'll discuss the contribution of louis pasteur so louis pasteur is the father of microbiology uh, he discovered pasteurization and he discovered the principles of vaccination okay let's start the lesson now the first and the fourth paragraph of the lesson are connected they talk about Louis Pasteur's early life and about his education. Louis Pasteur was born in a French country in the year 1822. He was very much interested in science, especially chemistry, from a very young age. After studying hard in Paris, he began, he began to teach and lecture as a professor of chemistry. He became a professor at Strasbourg in Alsace. And then he married his best friend. She was also his assistant. After a military conflict or the fight between armed forces in one of the campaigns, that is a series of military operations, the French military leader Napoleon gave a medal or awarded a soldier Comtana for his bravery. And this uh, soldier uh, or uh, the tanner is none other than Joseph Pasteur, father of Louis Pasteur. So Joseph Pasteur had an equally brave son, Louis Pasteur, who was born seven years after the Battle of Waterloo. Louis Pasteur was not a soldier, but he was a fighter. According to the author, Louis Pasteur was not a soldier, but he was a fighter. Why? Louis Pasteur was not a soldier like his father. He did not fight in any battle or he did not join an army. He fought diseases all his life. He found a cure to many diseases because he wanted to serve the community. In the second paragraph, we will learn about Louis Pasteur's devotion to science. So, Louis Pasteur for diseases, he devoted his life to the study of germs. And scientists call these germs as bacteria. What is bacteria? Bacteria are microorganisms or germs. Bacteria is a Greek word which means little dots. They are vegetable organisms like plants. They are little rod shaped plants which are present or exist everywhere. They exist in air, water, soil, bodies of animals, human beings and plants. These are, I mean, uh, the bacteria are of two kinds. Uh, one is the harmful bacteria and the second one is harmless bacteria. The harmful or the bad bacteria causes diseases, we know this. The harmless or the good bacteria converts matter into food for plants. Do you know that even we have bacteria in our body? Good, uh, uh, and it is a good bacteria. So the good bacteria that is present in our body helps in digestion. Coming to the third paragraph. In the third paragraph, we will learn about how Pasteur was unique, why he had a busy and interesting life, and about his patriotism. 
Louis Pasteur had a very busy and interesting life. He not only discovered the theories about germs, but he put them into practice. He was all the time working in his laboratory with test tubes and all kinds of experiments because he wanted to help people who were suffering from diseases. He helped all those who required help. The brewers, meaning a company that manufactures beers, readers of silkworm, the producers of silk, the cow keepers, a business to keep cows, and all these people... Uh, Uh, have you know um, had industries in france uh, so pascha was very proud he was very proud of being help of being help to his country so we'll continue uh, the rest of the lesson in my next class so thank you for watching if you like this audio lesson please like and subscribe to my channel